Hello, my name is Bob Duncanson. I'm the Executive Director of the Georgian Bay Association. What you're about to see is a presentation that I gave to the presidents of our member associations at our annual general meeting on March 28th of this year. When it comes to Georgian Bay, it's all about perspective. Most of our members view Georgian Bay through a very local lens, largely what they see and experience at the end of their dock and in their local corner of the bay. Some, like all of you in this room, take a slightly larger view of things in focusing on your cottage community. And those of you who are lucky enough to serve on the GBA board take an even broader pan-Georgian Bay view, or at least a view of the eastern and northern coastal zones of the bay. All of this bottom-up thinking tends to skew our sense of importance in the world. Our political masters have different perspectives. At the municipal level, each of our communities is nested into a larger mosaic. Our municipal politicians need to weigh the needs and wants of each community against the rest of the communities in their jurisdiction. But many of the political decisions that can impact the quality of life in our cottage rest with senior levels of government. And when you look at Georgian Bay, through the provincial and federal lenses, the importance of our communities, and even of our collection of communities, diminishes in scale. Provincially, we touch on two of the current 107 ridings that make up the political landscape in our province. Federally, it's even more pronounced. We only touch on two of the 308 federal ridings. Moreover, very few of us have a vote in either of these two ridings as our principal residences are outside of these ridings or were ineligible to vote in provincial or federal elections. The rules and regulations that the MPs in Ottawa and the MPPs at Queen's Park come up with can have a dramatic impact on the quality of experience that each of us enjoys from the ends of our docks. In face of these realities, GBA's challenge is to be relevant in the eyes of politicians and the public servants they employ. The GBA has been very fortunate over the years to have been able to draw on the myriad of connections that we have through our membership on the Bay. We have levered these connections and forged our own to build a first-class reputation with politicians at all levels of government. We have tended to approach matters in a constructive, rather than a combative fashion. This has earned us a favorable reputation with pol politicians of all stripes. They regularly seek us out to ask our opinion on matters and to participate in strategy sessions as they are preparing legislation. The Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement is a good example of this. Then Federal Environment Minister Jim Prentice reached out to us personally to join the committee of advisors to his team who were renegotiating this agreement with the U.S. More recently, the Provincial Environment Minister, Glenn Murray, and his staff asked us down to Queen's Park to discuss the Great Lakes Protection Act that they were in the process of drafting. Do we always get our way? No, but by providing constructive suggestions and criticizing in a respectful way, we sustain a place at the table. We sustain a connection with the powers that be so that we can raise issues as necessary. For example, during one of our meetings with Ontario Natural Resources Minister Bill Morrow, we were able to talk about his endangered species regulations and how they adversely affect our members. On that specific subject, we advised the minister that the endangered species that his people are fighting to protect can and do coexist very well with humans and around human-built structures. We shared these pictures with him, showing a Massasauga rattler and an eastern fox snake basking comfortably on the decks at my cottage. We feel the predisposition of some of his staff to severely limit what landowners can do on their property is unwarranted. Education must be the first line of defense, not regulation. But I digress. My message to you today is that the GBA has and continues to play a meaningful role in political discourse. Over the past few years, we have engaged with politicians and their staff on the following. 
We communicate regularly with local municipal councils to keep them apprised of our activities. In specific, we worked with the Georgian Bay mayors on low water response back in 2013. We've worked with the Municipal Property Assessment Corporation on waterfront assessments. We've worked with the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources on blasting and dredging permit, on native fish habitat and management, on aquaculture, on Asian carp, on Phragmites, on the Endangered Species Act. We've worked with the Ontario Minister of Environment on the Great Lakes Compact rewater diversions, on the Great Lakes Strategy and Protection Act, and on source water protection. We've worked with the Ontario Ministry of Energy on the Green Energy Act and wind energy development on the coast of Georgian Bay. We've worked with the OPP on boating safety and enforcement. We've worked with the Federal Minister of Environment on the Great Lakes Water Quality Agreement and on the Lake Simcoe Southeastern Georgian Bay Cleanup Fund. We've worked with the Department of Foreign Affairs on water levels, as water levels are a binational um, affair. We've worked with the IJC, the International Joint Commission, also on water levels. We've appeared before the Canadian Senate on water quality and the native ecosystem and on aquaculture. We've worked with the Ministry of Transport on boating safety, licensing, and personal flotation device wearing. We've worked with the First Nations on Phragmites and on aquaculture. And we sustain relationships with other groups who have aligned positions and who, in their own right, speak to the politicians. These include the Georgian Bay Five, which are Georgian Bay Forever, the Georgian Bay Land Trust, the Georgian Bay Biosphere Reserve, and the Eastern Georgian Bay Stewardship Council. We have a good relationship with the Federation of Ontario Cottagers Association, Ontario Boating, Environmental Defense, the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters, Canadian Environmental Law Association, Safe Quiet Lakes out of Muskoka, the Canadian Ship Owners Association, the Council of the Great Lakes Region, Restore Our Waters International, Stop the Drop, Ecojustice, Conservation Ontario, and that's not an exhaustive list. We do all of this for your peace of mind as you enjoy your peace of paradise. Our work is paid for by your annual contribution through membership in your local association. Our GBA fee amounts to the price of a case of beer per year. And we think it's worth it. We hope you do too. Thank you for your support.